Hey everybody, this is Pastor Nat with Win the Day. Five minutes in the Bible to help you, guess what? Win the day. And today we're gonna to talk about celebrating our victory in Christ. This summer, my family and I took in an entertainment water and fireworks show at the end of a long day at Universal Studios. In the show, they played various scenes from properties that they owned. One scene was from How to Train a Dragon. The scene was where Toothless and Hiccup appear victorious after a long, hard battle. I looked over to see my kid and he jumped up in the air, he pumped his fist and he said, yeah, yeah. His reaction to the victory was priceless. As I watched his excitement, I began to reflect on the spiritual battle that rages on and also that is secured in the victory of the war that we have. But here's what I also thought about. We don't celebrate like my son. We don't raise our fists in the air and say, yeah, we got this one in the bag. We don't celebrate like we should. I challenge you, we need to start today. Listen to Paul's words as he motivates us to celebrate the victory that we all share in Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Now, we've talked about this at various times on this program. We are in a spiritual battle. Now, we see the physical effects of a spiritual cause. People are hurt emotionally, they're hurt physically, relationally, and in so many other ways. It's because we're in a spiritual battle. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 says, we are human but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Each and every person today is in a battle. It's a battle of the spirit that wreaks havoc in the flesh. But we must first remember that the ultimate war is won. Jesus Christ defeated the grave. He defeated sin. He paid our sin debt. Our chains are broken. We are no longer slaves to sin. We are free in Christ. This is that yeah moment. This is why we can celebrate. Our ultimate battle is over. Yes, the daily battle does rage on, but there is victory for us because Christ has won the war. He gives us the desire and the power to win each battle. Through Christ, we can win each day. The question is, will we? So here's my challenge for you today. Celebrate, pump your fist, sing a song, shout to God how thankful you are for his unmerited and unrivaled gift of salvation. He has won the war. I challenge you, no, I encourage you, let's have a victory party and then Allow that celebration to move you to win each moment in His power and then celebrate some more. We are all in a battle, but the war is won. So celebrate our amazing victory. Why? Because God has won the day.